Hey folks, so I'm back with my second video from our stay at Grossmore National Park in Newfoundland, September 2011. So in the last video I showed you uh, this uh, little uh, campground, Greenpoint campground that we stayed at. And in this video I got a little day trip we did um, where we took a boat ride on the Western Brook Pond, which is a really spectacular landlocked fjord. You can see it here. And you, uh, you come in there and you walk on a trail, and there's a parking lot near the highway, and you walk, it's not too long, very mellow trail. I have a little photos from there. But you get on a boat ride over here, and they take you up into the, into the fjord. And it's just spectacular, huge towering cliffs and uh, waterfalls pouring off them. Just a terrific thing to do, we loved that. So I have some footage from that and some photos. And then I also have some footage and photos. We went over here to this uh, place called Cowhead. It's a town of Cowhead right here. And there's a peninsula that comes out from it. So you can go out there and there's another trail that we walked out. And we got right on the end here. There was some really unique rock formations that Anne wanted to photograph. So we took Angie and headed out there and had a, had a good... Uh, Good walk out there, got some exercise, and it was a nice calm day. Good way to finish up our explorations of uh, Grossmore National Park. And you also see some photos from us at the ferry terminal on our way back, and then some shots from the ferry as we leave uh, Port Basque and head back to Nova Scotia. We only spent two weeks in Newfoundland, which we could have spent more, but uh, it was actually starting to get cold. We didn't get there till September, and even the day before we left, it snowed, so it was time to start heading south. We'd love to go back there again. Anyway, let's get to the video and the photos. More than a billion years old. At the highest point, they're about 700 meters or about 2,200 meters. Now this is actually called the Grenville Basement Complex because it underlies all other rock types on the west coast and northern peninsula of Newfoundland. These are actually the roots of an mo old mountain chain and a part of the Canadian Shield. Now in studying mountains, geologists have learned that the roots of a mountain chain can extend down into the earth at least as far as the height of the mountains themselves. So at one time, these mountains may have been as high as the Himalayas. Now all that remain are these ancient uplifted roots. Now the long range mountains extend from Port of Basque all the way up to St. Anthony, and these are actually the northeastern portion of the Appalachian Mountains. Now folks, just in case there's anybody here who may be curious as close as we are to these cliffs here, there's still approximately 400 feet of water directly below this boat. There's a tremendous amount of noise here and a huge cloud of dust. You can see it wiped away a lot of the vegetation from the hillside here, though it is gradually starting to grow back now. Now this didn't create much of a wave or a wake into the pond because it happened so deep into the mountain it would have pretty much just slid down the hillside. Now our captain at the time recorded this in his log as only a true Newfoundlander would and he wrote, Great Big Rock Falls. <laughs> <laughs> Woody Pond Falls and it actually starts its descent about 600 meters or about 1900 feet above us. Now once again the captain will be taking the boat in a complete circle here so everyone's going to get a perfect view. We don't name these waterfalls ourselves. Now this particular waterfall is called Pissing Mare Falls. <laughs> now the amount of water in these waterfalls is directly related to the amount of rainfall or snow melt that's here at the time. Now this waterfall, like all others here in the area, are insignificant in supplying this pond with water. Now for its size, Western Brook Pond has very little inflow, and the only outlet from this pond is Western Brook itself. So now just to give you some idea of how little water actually enters and leaves this pond, it would take 15 years for this body of water to flush itself completely. Most ponds would flush their water about six to eight times every year. 
Yeah, that was fun. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> also an adventure if you don't get lost. Oh, yeah. cow head. These rocks were once a, a coral reef that avalanched down to the base of the ocean. Now it's been pushed up. You see that little person up there? That's Anne taking photographs way up on that little peak. We hiked through the scrubby bush there for a few miles to get out here. Way over there is the coastal range. Along there. And that foggy indent right there is Westbrook Pond where we took the, the tour boat. Down there about 10 miles is where we're camped right now. Kind of cool. Careful Angie. Don't fall, stupid eagle. Yeah, it's really cool. Still that cow head. Rock formations here are super cool. Nice tide pools, and some really beautiful reflections. Kind of greeny tide pools. Nice day today, overcast but very calm. Not much wind at all. A good day in Newfoundland in September. Let's see if I can get Angie to give you some scale of how big these rocks are. There's a little beagle right there. Angelina Beagleina, how you doing? Are you a good girl? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 